Let's start off talking about mobile users. That was one of the big numbers that everyone was looking at at Facebook today. 49% of ad revenue comes from mobile. Is that just going to get bigger? That's correct. It's a pleasure to be here, and it's, it's a great day for Facebook. That number is going to continue to go up. Uh, mobile users, of course, across the board are increasing. But what's really cool is Facebook's managed to figure out how to monetize these mobile users, and that's something that every platform's been trying to figure out how to do. Now, the platforms are also trying to figure out how to incorporate video that is contributed by their users. Tell us about what that means for the future of these companies. Definitely a lot more interactive advertising. That's what companies are asking for, and that's what Facebook's eventually going to deliver. So in the next few weeks, we're actually going to see Facebook roll out more video advertising, more interactive. We've already seen them do sponsored ads. Facebook's figured out that the more you make advertising relevant to people and within context, users will definitely click through. Well, what about Instagram? What are their plans there, and who are the big competitors? Well, Instagram, you know, of course, has 150 million users, and it's uh, Facebook's little baby, and they've already rolled out ads. Uh, they're very visually appealing. They appeal to the younger demographic, and so you'll continue to see more advertising with Instagram, and it's a very natural platform, so definitely for companies who also gear towards anything visual, towards a younger demographic, they're going to be able to take advantage of, the, of these really nice opportunities to get in front of that demographic in a way that that demographic really appreciates and engages with. Uh, Shama, can you define what is Zen marketing? How does that apply to social media? Well, Zen marketing is all about going with the flow, right? So giving the customers what they want, keeping the users happy. You're not hammering away a new message. You're really working with what they already like and trying to get to be part of that conversation. So the more you kind of weave yourself into their lives and do it in a way that's non-obtrusive, non-intrusive, then the easier your marketing gets. And that's really the philosophy behind Zen. Well, is it possible, though, that people really don't necessarily want to create their own content? They want others to create better content. Content, more interesting content for them. Is there a way to blend the two? Oh, absolutely. So you have your content creators who love creating content, but you also have your content curators who engage with content in a more passive way. You know, they like things, they, they share things, they read them, but they're not necessarily creating content, and that's okay. There's a place in the social world for, for both those personalities. Now, the market for Facebook results look as though the United States and Canada are about half of the business right now. But that's not the future, Correct. is it? Well, you know, Facebook's going to have to do a couple of things. One, they're going to have to keep increasing their user base in the U.S. and Canada because it's not, their, not the majority. And they're going to have to find a way to get more advertisers internationally because their user base is all over, you know, China, India. And they're going to have to work to get more revenue there. So they're going to need a two-pronged approach.